Props and Locks on Fox 10 is brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. Make every moment more. Hey, welcome into Props and Locks, brought to you by FanDuel. I'm Sierra Santos. We are your weekly go-to sports show for betting. The underdogs were howling in week nine of the NFL. Seven upsets in total. So where should you lay your money in week 10? We start in our own backyard first with the Cardinals hosting the Panthers, and we're joined by our betting bestie, Ben Stevens, host of the morning after on Sports Brick Grid. And Ben, Colt McCoy proved last week that he can and will fill in without issue for Kyler Murray as he, if he is again held out this week. The Cards, in fact, handled the 49ers without their starting quarterback, top two wide receivers, their number one back, this might be a battle of the backups once again. Sam Darnold is out with a broken shoulder. P.J. Walker is in. That would explain why even though if Colt McCoy is under center for the Cardinals, they are 10 and a half point favorites. Kyler Schmiler, Sierra, who cares? Give me Colt McCoy any day of the week. 22 of 26 last week in that win for the Arizona Cardinals over the Niners. 249 yards. And then James Conner, have yourself a ball game. 173 total yards and three total touchdowns. The Arizona Cardinals have been a double-digit favorite just once prior to this this season. A 19.5 point favorite against the Houston Texans. They covered. Arizona is 8-1 and one straight up, 7-2 and two against the spread with the highest cover margin in all of the NFL, 10.3 points per game. That seems a lot like what the spread is. Arizona is going to cover against the Carolina Panthers. Colt, Kyler, don't care. Love it. Okay, nothing more Hollywood than the Rams soaking up all the bright lights of prime time. They visit the three and five Niners who have failed to live up to expectations this, this season. What are you seeing from this one? The Niners, Sierra, were the preseason favorites to win what we all expected to be a tightly contested NFC West, maybe one of the best divisions in all of football. Now on the FanDuel Sportsbook, they are 85 to 1 to win the NFC West. That is the longest odds. The San Francisco 49ers have been a huge disappointment. The market has worked in LA's favor. It opened at three, three and a half, already four ahead of Monday night. What does that tell us? Early money is sharp money. The wise people out in Las Vegas, I'm riding with them. I lay the points with the Rams on the road. So no team more embroiled in controversy and scandal than the Las Vegas Raiders. And this week they host the Chiefs. The Raiders two and a half point underdogs despite leading Kansas City in the AFC West nearly all year long. Tira, can we trust the Kansas City Chiefs at all? I mean, can we? They're mm. five and four straight up. Sure, they're trending in a positive direction, I guess, in the win column, but they have the second worst ATS record in all of the NFL. They are just two and seven against the number, not covering by 6.6 .6 points per game, the worst cover margin in the National Football League. If Arizona had the best, Kansas City has the worst, maybe an over on Sunday night. Well, I have trust as you as it is, Ben, so. I'm a little out the door on that one. Now, Lamar Jackson has been torching opposing defenses with his legs. So how should you lay your money on the over under on his rushing yards for tonight? The props you need to know for Thursday night football after the break. Welcome back to Props and Locks, brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. Welcome back into Props and Locks, brought to you by FanDuel. We are setting the table for tonight's Thursday night football game right here on Fox 10 as the Ravens visit the Dolphins in Miami. And it doesn't matter who is under center for the Dolphins. The Ravens head into Thursday night football as the road favorites at minus seven and a half. But they have yet to cover the spread when favored by that many points or more. Ben, what say you? The third game this year, the Baltimore Ravens have been a touchdown or more favorite and only one in five against the number as a favorite. But can we be inspired by the Miami Dolphins, whether it's Tua Tungabailoa or Jacoby Brissett or whoever walks out there to play quarterback? No, not really. The Dolphins two and seven and three and five and one against the spread. That's why we're not so focused on the sides and total Sierra. It's the prop market where the value is tonight. Oh, that's what I like too. All right. Baltimore quarterback Lamar Jackson coming off his 12th 100 yard rushing performance and NFL record. And let's talk about those player props. Jackson's over under for rushing yards sits at 64 and a half. His passing yards 235 and a half and Marquise Brown's receiving at 60 and a half. 
235 and a half for the passing yards prop for Lamar Jackson just seems like a disrespectful number. He is averaging 351 this year. He has gone over this number of 235 and a hook in six of the eight games for the Baltimore Ravens. And on the other side of that, who has also gone over their number in six of eight games? Oh yeah, that'd be Hollywood Brown going over 60 and a half in six of eight, two straight for Baltimore. He is averaging 85.3. I love the prop market surrounding this connection between Lamar Jackson and Hollywood Brown. And oh, by the way, did you know they're from South Florida? A homecoming tonight for both of those guys. We take their overs in the prop market. I'm smelling something. Is that is that a parlay that you're cooking up, Ben? Oh, we could have a same game parlay if you want it. Plus 907 for a couple of props thrown in there on the FanDuel Sports, but good value tonight. All right, Big Ten Ben is sharing his best locks for the weekend. That's coming up after a quick timeout. Welcome back to Props and Locks, brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. Our final segment, we always bring you the locks, and our buddy Big Ten Ben tells us his favorite plays for the weekend, and we are staying very far away from ASU. In fact, we are going NFL first. You like Derek Carr's pass attempts propped. Why? Never Arizona State again. All right, Derek Carr passing attempt prop, not out yet on the FanDuel Sportsbook, but Derek Carr is averaging 39 passing attempts per game this year for the Vegas Raiders. He had 46 last week against the Giants. He has had at least 34 in seven of the eight games for the Raiders this year. As long as it's not over 36, we take an over on Derek Carr's passing attempts prop. Oh, I love it. Dropping the knowledge that hasn't even come out yet. All right, college ranks Pitt and UNC. You like the total points at over 71 and a half. Not just Thursday night football in the NFL, Sierra. Thursday night football in a huge game in the Atlantic Coast Conference. These two teams, two of the top seven scoring offenses in all of the country. Pitt averaging 41 points per game. UNC averaging 39.8. And they play a ton of overs. Pitt has the highest over percentage in all of college football. I think we get into the 80s. This 71 and a half, 72 and a half, not nearly enough. We are bringing it home for your final lock, the West Coast, the best coast. We are going Pac-12, and you are feeling Wazoo plus 13 and a half against the Ducks. Still a Pac-12 perspective, although we do not touch ASU. But in ASU's last game against Washington State, it was the Wazoo Cougs that covered a 15 and a half point spread on the road in Tempe. I think they can cover a 13 and a half point spread on the road in Oregon. Oregon just one in six as a favorite this year against the number Washington State has covered in six games. The Ducks are frauds. They do not cover this number against Wazoo this weekend. I love that you always give us the local flavor and all the knowledge. Thank you so much, Ben. We'll be back with all the props and locks next Thursday at 515. As always, check your FanDuel app for the latest lines. Until next week, take it easy.